Hi, my name is Cameron Stewart. I'm a professional comic book artist. Uh, you might know my work at, from Batgirl from DC Comics and Fight Club 2 from Dark Horse Comics. And I'm here to talk to you about the Wacom Cinti Companion 2. Um, I have used Wacom products for the majority of my career. I currently have a Wacom 27 QHD in my studio, but part of my job requires me to travel a lot. I travel all over the world to do um, comic book conventions and store signings, and I still have deadlines while I'm traveling, so I need to work. When Apple released the iPad Pro, it was something that was marketed specifically to artists, something that was uh, intended to be a device that you could take on your travels and work on the go. And so I decided that I would give it a shot. And I found after a couple of weeks of use that it wasn't actually what I wanted. I found that while it was great for doing rough sketches, it actually wasn't a device that was capable of the kind of nuance that I have expected from Wacom products, for example. And so I felt like the iPad Pro wasn't a machine where I felt comfortable doing complete print-ready artwork while I was away. And while the iPad Pro and the Pencil are beautifully designed, uh, they feel great in your hand, I feel like they lack a lot of the subtlety and nuance and customization that you can get with Wacom stuff. There's no external buttons. And the biggest issue for me is that the software just isn't very robust. It's running iOS, which is the same software that runs on a regular iPad and an iPhone, and it's no match for a complete full computer operating system. And so after a couple of weeks, I ended up returning my iPad back to the Apple Store, and I ended up getting a Wacom Cintiq Companion 2, which is a tablet computer, a full computer, uh, there's no external computer required, uh, that runs Windows 10. And uh, with that, it, run, it has the ability for me to run Photoshop and Clip Studio, which are the two primary pieces of software that I use to create my comic book work. Now, I was mentioning buttons. You'll notice that along the side here, there are a bunch of buttons that are completely customizable. You can put whatever commands that you want. You can bring up on-screen menus. You can set your command, shift, alt keys to it. And so it actually reduces the need for an uh, external keyboard. I still like using a keyboard. There is one that is available. It's a Bluetooth keyboard that connects to it. Uh, similarly, the pen has a couple of buttons on it as well, um, right next to your index finger. I like to have this one set to erase so that I can draw and erase with a minimum of interference. And I found the sensitivity on the pen to be much greater. Apple is a bit hazy with the details of the levels of sensitivity on the pencil, but uh, after a lot of use, it's very clear to me that I can get a lot more nuance out of the Wacom pen that comes with the Cinti Companion than I ever could with the iPad Pro and pencil. And the fact that it's pretty light and a complete computer means that I can have a complete workspace no matter where I go. I've used this on planes, I've used it on trains, I've used it in hotel rooms, I've used it right here at home, and I'm able to produce exactly the same kind of quality uh, that I can on my desktop Cintiq. So ultimately, if you are a working professional artist or even an amateur and you are looking for a full featured computer tablet to create professional grade print quality artwork, I would say that the iPad Pro is not the device for you. It's something that is great as a sketchbook, um, but it's quite pricey to have as just as a sketchbook. If you want something that is basically the exact same experience as working on a full-size desktop Cintiq, I would definitely recommend the Wacom Companion 2.